Welcome to Caddy Quick Clips, your quick guide to successful drawing and modelling with Caddy. In this video, we'll take a look at how we can use the iDrop pages on the Caddy website to incorporate symbols straight into our drawings rather than having to download them first, then go and select them from a file. So we're going to use the iDrop technology there that we have on the Caddy website to bring them straight into our drawings. And then we'll look at how we can use the 3D tools, both the, the rotate and the, the UCS manipulation tools to position within our drawings. So let's just orbit around our model. I'm doing that by using the shift key on the keyboard and the left click on the mouse. We can pivot uh, using the middle button on the, on the, the mouse as well in, connection, uh, in combination with the shift key too. So we're going to place some PV panels along our roof. So how do we get the symbols? Well first of all we'll go to the iDrop page on the Caddy website and we'll see we have our symbols listed in, in uh, groups here and let's just pick a single panel in the first instance. So literally just going to drag and drop that over our working area and get the focus back onto our Caddy drawing and we can see we can place it down on our drawing. Just taking a closer look at that, again doing an orbit, if we select it we'll find that it's actually a block reference. In actual fact, this will be a, a nested block because the symbols come back as uh, blocks from the uh, the iDrop page there. But we have a, an origin there, and we'll see that we're actually on the the world plane. So just pressing Escape to uh, uh, kill the selection. If we're wanting to rotate that to the plane of our roof, simple way to do it: use the 3D tools here, the 3D rotate and we can select the axis that we want to rotate around so we've got our UCSX here uh, selected, just little buttons in there, little radio buttons we're selecting what we want to rotate, so an object our block here and then the, the pitch or the angle, so 35 degrees which is the angle of our roof and we, we need to decide whether we're rotating clockwise or anti-clockwise little tip here, if we imagine ourselves standing at the end of the x-axis looking back towards the origin or any other uh, axis for that matter when we're considering it we'll notice that we're rotating it anti-clockwise to rotate it to the uh, pitch of our roof so OK that, pick the object and then we'll just indicate the origin of the, the block there so we're choosing that and there we've rotated it around the x-axis to the pitch of our roof if we do the same sort of thing with a group of the panels here, we could literally drag and drop them straight into our drawing and if we bring back the focus once more there, there's a group of panels we'll press escape to, to kill that, we don't want any more we'll use the 3D rotate once again exactly as before and there it is at the pitch of our roof now to position it on our roof we have some useful little uh, things within Caddy uh, we can manipulate our, our working plane, our UCS to uh, enable us to see that more clearly I'm just going to turn the border on and the border size is set to be uh, 25 times the size of an A3 drawing sheet because we're actually working one to one so that will uh, give us that uh, working area for our visible grid the grid extends beyond that of course uh, we're displaying the grid and we've got a grid set to 500 by 500 we can set it to whatever we like but it would just make it easy to snap there and we have our units for our grid at the top OK that and we can see that there in fact is our working plane and here if we're working in 2D we will snap directly onto that working plane I'd like to position that plane on the roof here so I'm just going to change to 3D mode and to make it easier to see the grid I'll change to hidden line using the UCS tools we'll choose three points and then we'll just snap to the corners there we could use an endpoint snap I'm using auto snap which incorporates the endpoint selection so there's our working working grid and then if we change back to 2D then wherever we select now we'll actually place that onto uh, the working plane uh, we can of course use 3D and then 2D just changing between so I could say okay I want to move our, our 
collection of panels here and then choose 2D so I know wherever I pick I'm working on there. I could also choose grid snap as I'm going to do here because then I can snap directly onto that grid and there we see our panels uh, arranged just as we want them. If we change that back to world we'll see that they are in fact there. We can change back to uh, uh, shaded mode, our fong shaded mode and we can see we have our collection of panels now arranged on the roof. So that's how we can use the, the, the tools from within Caddy, the 3D Rotate and the UCS tools to position symbols directly having loaded them from the iDrop pages of the Caddy website. For more Caddy Quick Clips and information on maximising your own productivity using Caddy go to www.caddysoftware.com